Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you some stuff that I made. I love wearing shorts in the summer and I've made a bunch of them over the years so I thought that it would be really fun today to show you a few pairs that I've made and you can see the different details of a few different patterns and maybe get inspired to make your own pair. So most of these are pretty casual style with like elastic and a drawstring waist and they all have some really interesting details so I can't wait to share them with you. Let's get started. So this first pair is my very latest make and these are the Miller shorts and I have a blog post about these that, that I will link to down below. This pattern is by Seamwork Magazine and it's a pretty um, mostly standard paper bag waist um, short except that it has elastic that is then attached to two ties and tie it around. So it's not like as tight as a regular elastic waist, but it works really well. I really like the features of it. It has inseam pockets um, and then just this cute little tie. So I made it in a rayon. You could also do it in something like a linen, chambray. Um, I think they're really cute. It only took me about 90 minutes to make, which was really fun. I made a size 8 and I didn't add anything to the length. Um, for reference, I'm 5'11 and my waist is about 29 inches and my hips are about 39, 39 and a half. So um, usually I would add length to the crotch, but for this pattern I didn't feel like I needed to and it does go like really up almost or yeah, like to my natural waist. So this is a really fun pattern, um, a good one if you're looking for something quick to sew. So these are the Alexandria shorts and this pattern is by Named Patterns and again I made a size 8 and for this one I did not make any adjustments and the really cool thing about this is this dolphin kind of hem and it's a lot longer in the back than it is in the front and I think it's just really cool and unique. I also love these pleats that go like a little bit over the pocket. Um, I made these about three years ago and I love wearing them in the summer. If I was going to make them again I might add a little bit of length to the crotch rise but yeah they're really great. I love them especially this curved hem has some really nice design details in this pattern. These are the Palisade shorts by Paper Cut Patterns and I made a size small and I added two inches to the length of the rise. Um, these have a really cool detail of kind of a double pocket. So there's this kind of angled pocket and then another angled pocket right here. And, and it also has a faux fly front and this part is a flat waistband and then the rest is an elasticized waistband. Um, this pattern is kind of similar to the Aeronite pants if you've sewn those or seen those um, with these big pockets on the sides except this is a really really slim fit of it. I was actually kind of surprised how um, slim cut it is but then I went back and looked at the pattern and there's only one inch of ease so that's a lot different than a lot of the other patterns um, so I was really expecting there to be more ease and kind of the thing that I don't like about it is that because it's so tight it's hard to get my hand in the pocket and that's kind of annoying to me so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna make um, make these again or not but I have been wearing them and they're really comfortable to wear. So even though it's a really slim cut, which I don't usually do, they are comfortable. So they're, they're still in the running for me. <laughs> Hi kitty. Hi. Yeah. You want to be on YouTube? 
<laughs> Let's look at more shorts. So these are the Flint shorts by Megan Nielsen, and this is my one pattern in the batch that does not have any elastic or drawstring. It's a flat waist and it has some pleats in the front um, and these angled pockets and it's a really nice kind of loose fit um, through the hip but then it's fitted at the waist so I really like the look of these. And what's really cool about these shorts is that there's no zip closure. It actually ties on. It's like, so you like get in through this pocket area. Um, I think it's a really ingenious closure. And I think these are really, really easy to make. Um, you just, this is a tie version. You can also do a button version. So if you're kind of afraid of zippers, but you want something that's fitted at the waist, and does not have elastic, then these are a really great option. And this fabric um, is kind of a mystery. I think it's probably like a cotton poly blend. Yeah, but they're really fun to wear. I've had them for like three years and wear them every summer. <laughs> yeah, even the cat likes them. So our last pair of shorts, these are the spring shorts and this is a free pattern from Peppermint Magazine and these are a little bit like the Alexandria shorts and also a little bit like the Miller shorts. They have this paper bag waist and um, not really inseam pockets but they're like slightly angled, less angled than the Flint shorts. And then similar to the Alexandria shorts, they have a cute little curved hem. So this is um, less exaggerated than the Alexandria and they are finished with a facing, which I think is a really nice way to finish a curved hem. So um, I made these a few years ago and I really like to wear them. Um, I made between a size 12 and 14 and I cut the rise at, and I think probably the length and the short too, kind of at the largest size. So I did like a cheater method of making it longer. <laughs> um, and I, you know, they're totally comfortable. If I make them again, maybe I'd add a little bit more length. Um, they sit below my belly button right now, but they're totally fine. They're like nice and fun to wear in the summer. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments which pair of shorts was your favorite and let me know if you've tried any of these patterns. I'd love to hear about it. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe button below so that you can follow along. I do a new video about once a week, often with tips and tutorials and occasionally sharing things that I made. I hope you have a great week. Happy sewing. Bye.